good morning everyone if you have not already don't forget to hit the subscribe button ring the little bell to get notifications on my videos every tuesday friday and the odd occasion we did a sunday video <laughs> right so what's going on today oh if you give the video a thumbs up as well that'd be really cool kind of helps it push along and i love you for it so today's video what's going on on thursday just gone it got announced that you are looking at the face of a presenter of a new bbc3 program super duper exciting it got announced on daily mirror daily mail the mirror the metro the sun the daily express all the daily things super duper exciting my face was there joanna's face was there and the alley cats were there so alley cats are the production team working for bbc3 I'm going to give you kind of an overview of what's going on, how it happened, and what's going to go forward. I think it's coming in time, it's getting close to it. But I'm going to try and give you like an arm, an arm length of information, because I can't give you too much. I'm just going to kind of tell you what it got announced online with a little bit of extra of what I can tell you. Back in July, I was meant to go to Ireland. That got stopped because it was so wet in Ireland, they couldn't even film it with tractors, because health and safety and all that. So in September, I went back to Ireland just bobbed over and we filmed the pilot for a new tv program that i'm going to be presented for called the fast and farmer oh so what is it what is this program this program has got two teams three contestants each team and they all have their own tractors they drive the tractors on events challenges and they go against each other i think we're going to have irish scottish welsh and english against each other in teams and then it's going to uh, they'll go against each other and they'll go to like quarter semis final really, really cool loads of stuff going on it's so much fun it's a really good laugh the first pilot that we did to see if it would go forward, uh, which it has, which is super exciting, pinch yourself moment, all that kind of stuff. The teams were super duper fun, loads of good laughs, great teams, so funny, and yeah, they were just awesome. I think you're gonna love it, hopefully you are. Loads of people on social media said they're looking forward to it, congratulations, and I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone for that. Really do appreciate it. Totally awesome. Wouldn't be here without you guys. We start filming in July for 10 days and then we start filming in September just to finish it off. So I'm guessing I'm going to put two and two together and make six that it's going to come out end of 2021 or even into 2022 start of. I've no idea. This stuff takes longer than I thought. It's not a case of me just grabbing the camera and just cracking on with it. The team is awesome. The guys from Alley Cats made me feel so welcoming. Obviously with that happening, we're going to be away for 10 days in july 10 days in september so i've got to make sure the farm is working fine because that's the important thing this is where it all starts so i've got to make sure the farm's working i've got to make sure the youtube videos are going i have a day break in ireland so instead of coming back for the day it doesn't really make sense what i'm planning on doing is I've, one of the guys there knows loads of farmers making a youtube video out there and just kind of seeing different farms because i think that'll be super super cool and if i've got the opportunity for we can film it put it online and obviously thinking about YouTube, I've got to make sure that YouTube content's there as well. I posted on my Instagram and Snapchat, would you like me to do a video on the lifeboats that we went to on Friday? We did some stuff with the farm shop. We've got charity box for them and we raised some money for them. They also said they would show me around the lifeboats. So if you'd be interested in that, I was thinking of making that video. So when I'm away, that is the kind of video that can get put up. We went to Andrew Waring's and he's got the heritage center and he's got all his old trucks. And I asked you guys, do you want to see that video? What we could do do is make that video and that could go up when i'm not around because obviously i've got my wedding my honeymoon uh, i've got my other mates weddings a few mates weddings i'm a best man for one of them and attending the other and then we've obviously got away with the island the bbc3 trip so loads of stuff going on i just want to make sure the youtube videos are getting put out there because i wouldn't be here without everyone watching this video so i've got to make sure on tuesday and friday that is where we're at crazy that it's going forward super duper excited for it it's going to be great it's going to be ace and it's going to be so much fun you guys are going to absolutely love it the other thing that obviously is happening this summer is the new shed the new shed is happening there has been loads of stuff going forward i've been doing a lot of stuff off camera and not telling you guys on camera and i've got no idea because the reason i announced the video in february by the way it's about two months ago and i was like right i want to announce this because i want to chat to you guys and a lot of you guys have been chatting to me and we've been to a few farms i'm going to update you now the building last week i had a chat with wearings really really interesting we're trying to change it up a little bit of course what I wanted to do is the shed is, let's say for argument's sake, like that, we feed in the middle. We're gonna have cubicles there, cubicles there. That's gonna be a walk-in and that's gonna be a walk-in. What I was gonna do is we were gonna put slats 
all the way down to the area where all the slats are down each one so we're going to have four times 127 feet of slats figured that out and that is ridiculously expensive i don't know if anyone's worked, tried to figure that out and channels super duper expensive so instead what we're doing is we're going to put a channel halfway down here i'm ruining my drawing and then we're going to put a three foot pipe underneath that's going to hook into those so it's a lot cheaper than having slats with a channel and then just channel with air so we're only spreading it half the distance we were going to before so it's going to keep everywhere cleaner and just have a channel that goes all the way down there we thought that was a really good idea and i think that's going to work i'd like to say a big thank you to everyone from the last video we we're chatting about inviting me around to go see the farms we've seen about three or four different farms i've not been doing any filming just because i want to see those farms you're gonna stay there before i do any filming because then i really can ask loads of questions really get in depth i'm not thinking about my camera stuff also had the demolition guys here today a guy called pete marquis friend of ours he is going to come and do it he had a look with his health and safety guy they're looking at it we're going to get all organized all done properly i'm going to have this blitz he said we could do it in probably about a week maybe just over down into nothing and then we can start again we're just organizing the final bits of it i'm also organizing this shed here which is currently the showroom obviously we're looking at in the future parlor maybe robots don't know where i'm going i've been to a couple of robot farms with grazing and it's looking pretty difficult i don't know if to kind of just go parlor but the problem is if we went to parlor there's loads of stanchions in the way so that is something we're looking at with wearings as well they've been really really good and really really helpful with me it's been awesome obviously i'm quite green at this all and they've been amazing so that's what we've been doing we're going for a channel in the middle a big pipe underneath the ground straight into the flat goes into the pump the other issue is obviously we've talked about it before the slurry tower i don't know if we'll be going over the slurry tower by about two foot and then shortening just a couple of these beds here the only problem with that is then the slurry tower is going to be about two foot in the shed maybe not even that like a foot it just gives us more width that way i don't know if anyone's done that before is it a big no-no or a little bit of an a nay can you kind of get away with it will it work i don't know if it will work it was just an idea that andrew waring had i don't know if that will work or not the slats down the middle with a channel underneath about three foot channel so it would never block all the way down so let's say we do put robots here or a parlor in the future down the line just thinking about the future it will work so we've gone away from the channel idea that was a rubbish idea it was too expensive you're looking at to have them in set in into our ground over 100 grand and a lot over 100 grand not just the other thing we looked at lately as well is i'd like your opinions on it is we've looked at cubicles mattresses we've been looking at the rigid cubicles that we've got in the back shed where it just goes off so the cows can fit the feet underneath we've also looked at like the semi-flexible cubicles and we've looked at the super flexible cubicles i've also looked at the neck rail that sean hartley has i really like that neck rail i think that's awesome the super flexible cubicles i've got loads of flex in it is it too much or is it no bother i've always been told that a cubicle is there just to kind of a guide it's not a forceful to be there anything's going to be better than the steel ones i think you want to go for a flexible cubicle but how flexible do you want it that's my personal opinion so that's where we're going if anyone's got any advice on that my head's a bit kind of everywhere with that one so i don't know if too much flex is a bit of an issue because of the cow in the stall will she feel protected if she's in the stall if they are super flexible obviously that's a wearing point how long are those wearing points gonna last looking around we're looking around at loads of farms lately just kind of getting ideas the channel underneath is perfect and the guys who had each cubicle in they really like them it's just interesting to see them 10 years down the line I'm just, i've been looking at kind of new setups obviously you're a new setup at the time but like i said 10 years down the line is it still going to be there is the quality still going to be there which i hope every product is going to be speaking to our mechanics the other day they say they're fixing more stuff that's 10 years old than 20 years old because um we had a slight fire the other day you'll find out about that very very soon and i had a heifer escape the other day didn't see it for 24 hours again i'll tell you in the fire video on the 85 loader tractor if you don't follow me on instagram or snapchat but yeah so we're moving forward i don't want you to think that we're not doing anything with it i would just kind of kept doing things and didn't tell you we are looking at where we're going 
going, we're getting pushed more and more down the line. Wearings have been doing loads. We're gonna do some really, really cool stuff with those. It's just, we've got an issue with the showroom, with the stanchions. Can we fit a parlor in there? Robots would be no problem. I'm, I'm just thinking of two or three years down the line. We just want to improve things in efficiency. But this is the drawing we've got at the moment of where we're gonna go forward. Loads of exciting things. Just wanna get it nailed. Just wanna get done, ready for the summer. BBC Three is well exciting. A big thank you to everyone who has watched my videos or liked my stuff, congratulating me on my post. I really, really appreciate it. I think it's just amazing. It's just awesome. Hopefully it all works out right. And like I said, great team, great contestants so far. I get to see the next ones in July and we'll be doing some more farm tours and farm stuff going around because I will be off the farm a little bit more. So we're having to get a little bit of help here, which is no bother. It's just gonna be hard for me to let go, but I kind of need some help. There's loads of stuff going on and I can't do it all. I'd love to do it. It's just one of those. Got any more questions? Put it in the comment section below and I'll try and answer it there. If there are loads, might just do a quick live on Sunday, but I do want to get the video of what happened to the A5 and why it burnt out. Because that was a very nerve-wracking time. Put firework extinguishers on my shopping list. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please get a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and we'll see you very, very soon. And soon we'll be knocking this.